Hey guys, what's up? This is Alpha Miss Andrews Wolt here for GeorgeArt.com with another Android app review for you guys. Again, a free one of Skyfire Browser 2.0 Beta, um, which is of course done by none other than Skyfire themselves. Now, this browser was launched a very, very long time ago for Windows Mobile and different platforms, but now that it's on Android, it's actually not that great now that Flash Player 10.1 Beta is actually on Android. But what this browser was originally intended to do was actually bring full Flash Player 10.1 right to the application done in its own completely custom way. And not only that, bring some in crazy, crazy fast speeds due to server-side rendering. So really cool, let's take a look. Alright guys, so there's the icon, little S for Skyfire. We'll launch it open. And here we are. So you see it says Skyfire 2.3 beta for Android. I can accept the little terms of use. And then it walks me through everything about the actual application, but I'm going to show you guys that myself. And now it says enjoy, and here's the browsing experience itself. So here's the URL bar, when you actually um, select it, you can go to a site, anything like ebay.com, and I'll hit go. You'll see the server side rendering just makes this thing load so fast that it's already done. So that's how fast it is. Here's the little refresh icon, and while it's refreshing, I can hit X to actually stop it, but it actually finished before I can even do so, so very fast. This is the back button, which will take me back. This is the bookmarks button, which will take me to bookmarks and history. Uh, this is the Windows button, as you can see. I can open up a new tab, tap that again, open up another new tab, and then when I tap it again right here, you see it is a little bit laggy when you're actually, you know, scrolling through, uh, but definitely not too bad. You just tap the X to actually close it, and there you go. And this right here lets you load the page as either Android, desktop, or default. So I'm going to go ahead and hit desktop so it always loads up. And then when you tap this button, this is where you get the uh, drop down extended menu for going forward going to the home page which is the page I'm on. You can even find text on page so I can search in things to actually look on page. So if I type in for example little as you can see it brought up with little palm islands there. Going back I can go into selecting text and this will give me uh, my way to select all my text only with my finger though which is unfortunate. Going back in here I can add a shortcut to home. I can share a page, go to downloads, I can report video problems if the flash video isn't playing or go to help. Um, you see the downloads just shows this little list and I can clear it. So now I'm going to go ahead and go back into this menu, go into settings and show you guys the settings that there are. You see I can enable the toolbar which is the you know toolbar up on top. I can enable video alerts which is basically a pop up that pops up when there's flash video. I can keep the screen on when I'm browsing, show the status bar which I'll turn off for more full screen experience. Um, and it shows me the Skyfire version. I can send them feedback and view the legal info. There's also privacy and security, which I suggest never touching. But we can also go into browser settings, and this is where I can enable plugins, change the initial zoom. I can show the standards and controls, which I'll turn off since there is pinch to zoom. I can add the start page, and I can change the link or set a custom page, and this is where I can set the link. Um, you can load the page as. You see, I have it as desktop. Let's click. Of course, there's a quicker way to do that, which I showed you guys already. You can have the actual phone load the images and JavaScript and block pop-up windows. So, nice little settings. So let's take a look at the browsing experience itself. We're going to go to YouTube.com. Hit go. You see I turned the status bar off, so it is more full screen. Again, server-side rendering. It's already done. You see pinch to zoom is very smooth now, and that's definitely incredible because when I first got this, it was horrible horrible uh, very very bad pinch to zoom but now it's very fast so as you can see there's a quick video there I'll go ahead and tap on it I can rotate my phone loads up here of course I have full flash player 10.1 beta installed already tapping menu there's the pop-up which lets me watch the flash so all I have to do is tap on it, it says optimizing for your device buffers the video and there it is So there you go. So it is a definitely an interest, interesting way to actually look at the Flash video. Um, but of course, as you can see, if you have Flash Player 10.1 installed, hey you can indeed watch it from right here. You know. So there we go. I can pause but, and play. Um, so very smooth, which is definitely surprising. 
And uh, so Flash Player 10.1 works extremely well, especially when you have the actual package installed. And when you're on the Froyo browser, I'm not sure if it's my phone with the, its processor, or I'm not sure if it's, you know, the fact that I'm on this incredibly optimized Froyo. But everything seems to work very well. The scrolling is very smooth, as you can see. Pinch to zoom, very smooth. There is indeed double tap zooming, which is also very smooth. And it's all around a great browsing experience with incredibly fast server side rendering load speeds. Alright guys, so thanks for watching. This is indeed my new default browser because Flash Player works phenomenally. Uh, it's one of the best ways to actually view Flash. And because of server side rendering, over 3G and Edge is pretty much like you're always browsing over Wi-Fi because Skyfire themselves compresses all the data and actually downloads it and all it has to do is push the actual web page to your phone so that's why it's so fast uh, definitely great instead of the actual phone having to download it all so I definitely like that a lot better and I definitely like this browser so thanks for watching this is Alpha Mits Android's World so make sure you guys check out my YouTube channel youtube.com slash it's Android's World and I'll see you guys in my next DirectShark.com Android app review